आई एम डॉक्टर रश्मि चौधरी द कंसल्टेंट ऑब्स्टिशियन एंड गायनाकोलॉजिस्ट इन क्लाउड नाइन हॉस्पिटल बेलंदूर ब्रांच बैंगलोर प्रेगनेंसी इज द मोस्ट जॉयफुल पीरियड ऑफ अ वुमेन्स लाइफ द मोमेंट शी कंसीव द इंटायर फैमिली इज वेरी एंशियस टू गेट ए वन ग्लिम्स ऑफ देयर फीटस और द डेवलपिंग बेबी but at the same time the query is at how many scans so normally in an uncomplicated pregnancy we do minimum of 5 scans the first scan is a dating or a viability scan which we do around 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy to confirm the viability the baby's heartbeat as well as ruling out the twin gestation as well as if some lady is coming with a irregular bleeding or pain we rule out the ectopic pregnancy which is a tubal pregnancy means pregnancy in the tubes the second scan we do at 11 to 13 weeks of pregnancy which is called as a nuchal translucency scan which is done for ruling out any genetic abnormality in the baby like we rule out we give the risk ratio for uh, the trisomy 13 18 and 21 if anything found we do for the investigations the, at the same time in this scan we do the assess the doppler parameters of the baby maternal uterine artery we see that your baby is getting adequate oxygen or not the third very important scan is a anomaly to rule out any structural deformity placental localization the amniotic fluid amount as well as the doppler parameters of the uterine artery if any problem is there the corrective measures are taken the Fourth scan is a interval growth scan which we do at around 28 to 32 weeks of pregnancy to rule out any intrauterine growth restriction small babies decreased amount of amniotic fluid or high amount of amniotic fluid as well as doppler parameters of the fetal as well as the maternal vessels the fourth and final scan is done during 37 weeks of pregnancy to assess the expected fetal weight placental localization the amniotic fluid on that parameters with a side how long we have to wait for the spontaneous onset of labor if everything is fine we can wait for uh, till the date and even one week beyond the date